This is the Kagero deck profile. Here's the best runner in the deck. Flip it around, flip it around. Can't see it. Flip it around. There we go. Look at that. And then after that, we are running two novels right here. So, the effects of this. You get to Soul Blast uh, grade 3 or higher. And all your opponent's trigger effects are nullified. And this gets 20,000 plus negative 1 drive check. And if your opponent and you have 5 damage in damage zone, all the rear guards your opponent has will be retired. So this is actually pretty good if you run this. Busted. And then the next cards will be Dragonic Waterfall. Oh, the geez. next best card. So... When you ride into the grade 3, into this card, you get to um, choose one of your opponent's grade 2 or higher rear guards and retire it. And then after that, you could soul blast one grade 3 and it gains 10,000 plus attack and plus one crit. And your opponent can't call any uh, sentinels. And then here's the next big boy right here, which I'm going to show you. Big boy, Dragonic Overload. Overlord. Ugh, can't talk today. So, this guy. You get to Soul Blast 1. It gains 10,000. And plus, if it hits Vanguard, uh, you could restand this, uh, this unit. And you get a negative 1 check. Which is pretty interesting. Because you can actually hit crits sometimes. So, the next lineup will be the Greats 2. And then here's this one, the Helm. So with this card, you get to Counter Blast 1 and retire a unit on the back row. And it gains 5,000 each. And that's a pretty good card, trust me. So the next lineup will be Berserk Dragon. So with this one, you get to Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, Retire a Unit f on your opponent's side, and plus you get to draw a card. So you need those draws. Come on, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> and plus it gains, uh, how much? Let's see. Against 3,000 for more rear guards than your opponent. And then, let's see, what's the next lineup? So, here's another best card right here. So, with this card, you get to... Well, with this card, when you hit Vanguard, you get to check in your deck for Novell. Which is going to be the grade 4 for this. And you get to shuffle your deck and get this card into your hand. That is a uh, interesting card. So those are for the grades 2. Here's the next grade, which is grade 1s. So this is a great card because... When you're boosting a grade 3, you get to counter blast 1 and put this one into soul. Your grade 3 will gain crit. And this is actually really good when you play it. What's waterfall? Yeah, what he said. <laughs> and then with this card, which is embodiment of armor bar. You get to Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, and choose one of your opponent's grade 2 or less rear guards in the same column, and then this unit would gain 5,000 attack. So it's a good card to run, so I recommend 3, not 4, because it really sucks when you play 4. So here's another grade 1 right here. The card is called Novaramen Dragon. I don't know how you say it, but it's interesting. 
So when you place this card into your rare circle, um, basically you get to reveal your grade 4, which is the dragon. And after that, once you reveal, you can shuffle this card back into your deck and get a Dragonic Overlord, which is this card. Good combo, though. Okay. And then here's the other lineup, which is... Flame of Hope and Aramo. Right here. These four cards. It's a really good card to play because when you get to boost uh, during battle, it gains 3,000 attack. And plus, uh, when your opponent rear guard is retired during your turn, you get to ret uh, retire this unit, draw a card, and counter charge one, which is pretty good. And then here's the trigger lineups that I got. So here's the eight crits right here. Here's the four heals. And then here's the four draws for this deck. Alright, man. That looks like it's it, man. This is Trey and Jason from Team Foresight. Like, subscribe, comment underneath below. Letting the guys know what you think. Alright, peace.